What exactly is Best Seller Rank, otherwise known as BSR? Let's get into the video. You follow our Seller Circle guys, didn't you? Yes. Essentially I call it, it the Bible first. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Seller Circle, come on. <laughs> So guys, let's have a chat about BSR. BSR is probably something that you have heard about time and time again, and you are wondering, what does it mean? How does it work? This video is gonna be much more for the beginners who maybe have a little bit less Amazon experience. Now, BSR stands for Best Seller Rank, and it's essentially the ranking that is given to almost every product on Amazon to decide how popular that product is relative to the category that it is in. In. BSR is also known as ranking. Now, this is where things get interesting because most people think, oh, you see a really high BSR number of, you know, 100,000, for example, you would assume 100,000, big number, this product must be selling really, really well. Now, this is actually not the case. The higher the BSR number, the less the product actually sells in order to come across a product that is really, really fantastic and sells thousands of times per month, you'll be looking for the real, real low BSR. BSR numbers. So a product with a BSR of below a thousand is usually selling very, very well. Something, you know, within the hundreds is going to be selling fantastically. Any double digit BSR products are going to be fantastic. And if you can get your hands on any of those profitably and there's still money left in them after Amazon have basically sweeped up pretty much all those super popular products that you like to see on the bestseller page, you will be absolutely winning. So BSR is essentially used to work out the popularity of a product. Now, Jungle Scout, Seller Amp, SaaS will both use BSR in accordance with other factors as well to work out how often these products are actually selling every single month. And we're going to have a look at my screen in just a moment to tell you a little bit more about this. Now, it's really important to remember that BSR is actually category specific, main category, not subcategory. So on Amazon, there's various different categories. For example, I've got some on my screen here. Yeah. DIY and tools, garden and outdoors, health and personal care, jewelry, etc. Now, each one of these main categories will have subcategories underneath it as well, which basically sections off the category to a smaller niche, for example. Now, for garden and outdoors, for example, you may have a category which is literally just for gardening gloves. Now, that is classed as a subcategory, not a main category. BSR is for the entire category, not the subcategory. Now, this is where things get interesting because let's say, for example, you've got the garden and outdoors niche and you've got also the health and personal care. So if we find a product from each one of those categories, one may have a BSR of 10,000, the other may have a BSR of 10,000. It doesn't mean that those products will be selling the same amount of times per month. It will actually be different because each category is actually a different size. So let's just say, for example, one category is a million products in size and another category is 2 million products in size. Now, if you took the product which has got a BSR of 500,000 in one category and 500,000 in the other category there, they would be selling different amounts of times per month just due to the fact that it's a much larger category. And therefore, you know, it is actually 500,000 is more popular on the larger category because if you look at the percentages, it's, it's a more popular product if that makes sense, which is also why sometimes BSR is put into a percentage percentage as well. However, obviously the lower the BSR of a product, the more popular that product actually is and the more sales that product is actually going to be making. Now, let's take a look a little bit deeper into some examples over on the screen here. So here we are on a tanning cream. We all know that I love talking about tanning cream. I've sold lots and lots and lots of it before. Now, on here, we can use, we've obviously got our BuyBot Pro, we've got our Jungle Scout, we've got our BuyBot Pro graphs here, and then also somewhere on here, we've also got our Seller Toolkit over on the right as well. Now, we're just gonna close off Seller Toolkit for now. Um, in fact, quickly, I will show you the BSR. So 
In terms of BSR on this product, we can see that it is ranked or its BSR is 212. Now, out of, let's say, a million products in this category, this product is the 212th most popular. We can also see this over in Jungle Scout here, where we can see the main category is beauty, and this product is ranked 212 within here. That is the BSR. Now, Jungle Scout will also rank this product and show you the rank on this product within the subcategory as well. So once we section off the beauty category slightly this product is the third most popular product in tanning enhancers and accelerators now number three is not the bsr the bsr is only the ranking for the main category which is this 212 that you can see here now if we go back over to seller amp sas we can see that this 212 is within the most popular one percent of the category now anything that's within that one percent is usually going to be a nice popular product the type of products that we would be looking to sell. But what you also need to take into account is that BSR is obviously changing. It's changing throughout the day, it's changing throughout the week, it changes throughout the year, and you can see these changes down on the Buy Buck Pro graphs or potentially Keeper, um, you know, if that is what you're using. So for this product here, obviously we can see all of our different pricing, etc. And we can also see on the background here, this green line is the BSR. Now, this probably looks super complicated. Usually, I'm going to be looking at the graph on a sort of 90-day basis here. But in this example, what we're going to do, we're going to turn the time up to um, over 3,000 days, which is how long this product has been around for. And we're going to be looking specifically at this BSR graph here. Now, this product is a tanning cream. What you are going to be able to assume with this is that it's probably not going to be selling all that well in the winter, just due to the fact that not many people are going away in the winter. It's not as popular as the summer. Not many people are going to want to use this tanning cream in the UK either. Um, this is therefore represented by the BSR. So if we hover over this little section here, we're looking at the 12th of December. At this point, the, the product in the main category beauty ranking and therefore BSR is at a thousand. So it's much less popular than it was. If we hover over, you know, the, the 19th of June 2015, this product is ranked number seven in the beauty category. So it is ridiculous popular and you will see this you know repeating throughout time as well um, obviously during this period here you've seen a much higher spike in the BSR up to you know nearly six seven thousand um, that is going to be probably due to COVID times again not many people are going holiday at all so again even less people are therefore buying this type of tanning accelerator so that's a very simple real world example to show you how BSR works obviously you can zoom in much more than this and see changes in the BSR as well. Other good examples include pricing. So sometimes the pricing of product will change over time and you will see slightly different pricing. So for example, let's take this point here on this graph. We can see on the 5th of December, um, this product was actually selling at around £11. Now, back here in October, it was on here for nearly £20. Now, naturally, the BSR was much higher during this period here because the product price was higher. There's probably alternatives within the category that are more popular, and therefore, this product is gonna have a higher BSR in comparison to those products which are more popular because they're at a cheaper price. Maybe there were some supply issues here, for example. However, as we see the price to start to reduce down here, we can see the BSR comes all the way down to 600 it's still not as low as it is now it still won't be getting the sales it's in now because again it's in December but it will still be seeing and getting some fantastic sales overall now we can say that this BSR change here was clearly due to the price we can see that over time you know we're in October here the price is at 20 pound the BSR is up there at sort of close to 3,000 then all the way down here um, you know the price has reduced down and the BSR has reduced down However, the price in December is at £11.05. If we go to where we are now, we're at 19.99, which is again back up at this much higher price, but the BSR is through the floor. The BSR is super, super low. So in this situation, the BSR is affected by the seasonality of this product. It's not being affected by the price because in theory, um, you know, the BSR was decently low here around 600. The price has then gone 
gone back up during summertime or you know spring sort of coming into summertime and the price is back up at 20 pound but the bsr is through the floor and super super low that is again not going to be due to price it's going to be due to the seasonality of this product now you may be thinking at this point jake what do i do with this information what am i meant to use the bsr for now in most cases you've got to understand that if you're using jungle scout um, you know you can you can look at these sales figures on a daily basis you don't really need to look at the bsr and think oh you know this product was a little bit cheaper at this time the bsr went down therefore it wasn't all that much popular you don't need to look into things that deeply we tend to do that more on the wholesale side of things if we are looking to spend hundreds if not thousands of pounds on an order for example and this is exactly the type of stuff that we like to do in wholesale when we are looking for products that we can sell we can buy directly from manufacturers distributors and suppliers now just as a little bit of an interlude on this video i will open up 10 spaces on my calendar to book in for a call to have a little bit of a chat about the wholesale mentorship it doesn't matter when you are viewing this video i will always make sure that there is spaces available so make sure to click the link below to book in for a call with myself if the wholesale mentorship is something that you are interested in and i can tell you a little bit more and you know how you can get involved in this sort of stuff so like i was saying you know the, the jungle scout daily sales on this product are, are sort of massively fluctuating over time we can see obviously at the moment it's very very popular it's selling more than it ever has done before um, we can actually add on the ranking um, here as a trend um, and these two lines are therefore going to be opposite ranking remember is bsr the lower the bsr the higher the sales so essentially when we see a spike up here in the sales which we've seen here you will see a massive reduction in the bsr when we see a increase in the bsr like we've seen here we've seen a reduction in the sales so therefore i'm not really looking into the ranking all that much all that often but i will sometimes do it if i want to investigate a product a little bit further and you can always therefore work out what's affecting the sales is it the seasonality is it the price is it maybe something else maybe this product has been very heavily advertised so again you know bsr is a fantastic thing that you should really be looking into and at least understand in terms of amazon so you can work out is a product selling well is a product not selling well and if so you know why is there changes between a product selling well and not selling well throughout the year or throughout recent times that's what's really going to help you work out whether it's worthwhile placing an order via your amazon business to sell products like this um, via amazon again it's not just bsr that you're going to be looking at you want to do your competition analysis sales analysis price analysis all sorts of checks using these softwares um, you know which probably look ridiculously confusing to you right now but trust me once you understand them once you start to learn they are not as complicated as you first assume i will show you one final example of bsr then i will be out of your hair so again what more of a fitting example can we use than an advent calendar if this isn't going to show spikes in bsr i'm not sure what will so if we put this onto uh, the 700 days time frame which is basically however long this product has actually been available for we can see that it, the BSR is super super low during these periods in the run-up to November um, and December now as soon as we start to hit the 1st of December you'll instantly start to see a spike up in the BSR and the product is less and less popular and again you know here obviously in May the product's not going to be selling all that much it's not going to be all that popular and again you've got those last minute buyers on Amazon for products like this you think oh my god I've not got an advent calendar boom head over to Amazon you've got it so right in that very little bit of crunch time here that you can see when people need those advent calendars as soon as possible you will see a massive reduction in the bsr and we can see here you know this product is ranked 1.6k in toys and games again very very popular during this period again it's not as low as the other product it's not selling as much as the other product in this period but it's still selling very very well relative to what it would be usually doing you know in, in sort of summertime you're sitting at around 40 50 60 thousand in bsr that is not going to be equating to many sales whatsoever um, so again you've got this massive little reduction here um, as we come into the first of december and then boom a 
every single day we start to see the BSR increasing, increasing, increasing as the product is less popular. It is not needed as much. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense regarding BSR. If you are interested in getting involved in the wholesale mentorship and learning more about these various different price graphs that we use to basically pre-vet and approve products, please do let me know by booking a call below and we can have a chat, not a problem at all. I look forward to hearing from all of you guys very, very soon. Please make sure to book a call if you haven't already. It's going to be fantastic to have a chat with you, tell you a little bit more about Seller Circle as a whole. If you'd like to see more videos like this as well, please do comment below. More than happy for anyone to comment the topics that you want to see next, um, whether that be price history, sales history, any sort of mini tutorial to do with Amazon, make sure to comment below. Whichever one we choose, I will give you a three months worth of free membership to the Seller Circle community as well. So make sure to comment your ideas down below. I'll see you all very soon. You need to give with that player's price and stop getting robbed by the mother producers. Just dial 1-800-FED-UP with the bullshit. <laughs> no, the real